tile cutter but it has a diamond small little wheel mm -hmm. and it scores the tile and it breaks it so and then this arrow right here represents where that wheel will cut and that's my mark so. and then you just lightly push down So I shaved it off. But sometimes that doesn't make a super clean cut. And then when you lay your tile, you always want to, this is a factory edge, and factory edge goes to the next, to the other factory edge like that. What are you measuring with this? Uh, I took the overall measurement, it's 47 and a quarter, mm -hmm. and then you divide that by two, and that'd be 23 and 5 eighths. And so I mark 23 and 5 eighths. And then just to make sure you can come over to this side and make sure it's 23 and 5 so, so, this oh, so you got to find the exact middle of it. Yeah, uh -huh. because the next tile that sits on top of this will sit on top right there. Pretty uh, unusual size, it's 12 by 48. Um, it's pretty, pretty unique and expensive stuff. See, so it's pretty cool. A little blue going on. Slick. Yeah, it's a nice and slick, you know. More like a also got the what they call rectified edges. It's uh, like this edge is uh, basically designed for tile to go closer to each other. That's why it's a little bit harder to work with. But anyway, so the tile gonna run like this around the wall. The concept behind laying tile and installation is uh, pretty much the same. You know, it's the same principle to apply to any tile that you install. The size really doesn't matter. What I did on this is this the first run, and I made sure that it's level from the line all the way across. It should be level. The first row, and then once you have it level, then you can keep going and you won't have to use the level. different uh, settings uh, this is 1 16th um, gap the joint and uh, the way it works you know this is going behind the tile and what it the does edge. you know you use the cramper tool and it levels up both both tiles together you know and making sure you you know your tile is nice and flat flat yeah so basically, also, you know, this part is always the same, um, but the clips itself can be different with the different thickness of the grout joint. Like oh, on this, you can see, you see, uh, it's got 116 grout joint there. Um, and, you know, he's using that crimper tool to put some pressure on it, so it's a nice and tight. Nice and, yeah. and you, you preferably use this. Uh, a leveling system for rectified tile, the one that we're using with the straight edges, 
uh, because it's very hard to do it just by hand. So it's always better to use this uh, system for that. You also can use this for a tile floor. It's pretty good stuff. We recommend using it. We'll leave a link in the description below. Using bulldoze, it has a rounded nice edge. So it's when you're sitting down, it doesn't cut you or anything. It's just its purpose is to finish off the tile. Uh, measuring the short side of bullnose because it's at an angle so it has to be cut at an angle. center point so it'd be four and a quarter and then eight and three quarters eight and three quarters <laughs> 